Hi everyone, what's up? So welcome to the third part of tutorial push notification using React Native and Firebase. And this in this part of the tutorial we will see how we will send uh, messages to the app on which uh, sorry to the phone on which we will install the app and we will see how we we need to code the push notification feature because till now we have just uh, uh, done the configuration part and haven't coded much so now we will start adding the code and we will see what all uh, codes we need to add to make the push notification work on the phone and make sure that the push notification you test on your phone because it won't work on uh, on the simulator iOS simulator so let's start so first thing you need to do is you need to add this code this header line to the app delegate dot m so here I have added this to my app delegate m file and then you need to add the fir app configuration so here I have added my fir app configuration code and third and most important we need to add this method to the app delegate m file which is for receiving the notification and fetching the uh, notification so our app delegate m file should look something like this after all the code I mentioned in the theoretical part of the tutorial is added so now we need to add the JS part of the code that we will be adding in the index iOS JS file so the parts that we need to add is that we need to add component did mount this method so we have added it here it does all the registrations for the notification when the component mounts and then we need to add component will unmount because we need to un we need to uh, unsubscribe to all the subscriptions that we have made when the component mount so the unsubs uh, the unsubscribe methods are in component will unmount and I think th uh, with this we are done and no more things to be added and with this our send push notification should work so to send the notification we will be using the Firebase Google console we need to go to uh, our Firebase Google console that is here and in the left side you will see this notification tab you need to click on the notification tab and you will get this screen with send your first message button you need to click on send your first message button and you need to enter the message you, you need to select single device enter the FCM registration token and then click on send message button so I will show you how you will get the FCM registration token so let's first run the app on the simulator because even on the simulator you will get the token so we can just see the token part in the simulator and while the app is running I would like to tell you that please subscribe to my channel because uh, all the important videos related to react native we keep posting and we do the theoretical part as well as the practical part so everything is done step by step and very easy to understand way and that will really help you to learn important things related to react native so if you are no matter if you are a newbie developer or you are a intermediate level developer you can just 
check our code and if you are expert then I think you are an expert then you might not need it but uh, for those who are not expert I'm sure you would read uh, and you will learn many things on our blog so the first time the app will uh, run on device or simulator it will ask for the permission and you need to accept the permission only if you accept you will receive the notification so that is quite important okay so our app has started running on the simulator so it is asking for the permission would you like to send your notifications okay so I have granted the permission now let's start the remote debugger debug JS remotely now this has started the remote debugger debugger okay so we can see that we are getting a token here okay we need to copy this token and this token we need to paste here in the FCM registration token text box and we need to enter some message my first message and check the single device and click on send message it will ask for confirmation click on send and this won't work on the simulator but if I do it on the device it will receive the simulator won't receive notification so that was the practical part of this tutorial I'm sure you have enjoyed it make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment box and also in the description box make sure you check the theoretical part of this tutorial here so that you can have a good understanding of every step thank you so much for watching